This is a video tutorial about using DVD Styler to take some of your favorite videos and burn them onto a DVD that will play on an ordinary DVD player or on your computer. Alright, to start with we need some videos so let's just make a new folder right here and call it vids and I'm gonna put some vids into there and then I go and run uh, DVD Styler when DVD Styler first comes up it's pretty much already defaulted to the right thing DVD and the only thing I'm going to change is go from PAL or PAL to NTSC which is the uh, format used for the United States PAL is more for Britain and I'm just going to click OK so now we have a new project now in this case I'm not going to be picking a template because I'm not going to use any buttons on my main menu so I'm going to say no template alright now I'm ready to import some video so I'm going to open my video folder and take a few of these videos let's take three of them here <clears throat> now you'll notice when I drag these down into DVD Styler they'll be imported in alright and down here shows how much space I've used there's still a lot of room left I could put a lot more videos on there for example if I wanted to put one more I could add another one right here just dragging it in with a, your regular left click just holding it and dragging it okay once I've got my videos in let me close this and get it out of the way alright now I've got four videos now we want these to just play all in a row on our DVD so I'm gonna to go to the main menu right click left click on properties and I'm gonna put a pre command that sends the, men, the uh, main menu to title one like that and this is title one over here so I'm the main menu will automatically jump to title one the first movie okay click OK now for the first movie I'm gonna right click and then left click on properties I'm gonna send a post command here to go to title two so the first one was a the main the first one was from the main menu that was a pre command but the rest are going to be post commands so the post command for the first title going to jump to title 2 and then on title 2 doing the same thing only this post command will go to title 3 and then on title 3 I'm going to do the same thing again right click left click on properties and the post command will go to title 4 in title 4 we don't need to do anything to but I'll just show you that uh, inside there under the properties it's calling the last menu so it just goes back to the main menu <coughs> so that's fine the way it is okay so once we've set that up so they'll all play in a row we can just go up and hit the the burn button up here just click this burn button okay now if this happens to be a rewritable DVD then you would click format if it's just a plain recordable you don't need to click this okay then you just hit the start button and it starts the burn process 
Now this is going to take a little while to compile all these movies. Okay, it's done transcoding and now it's gen uh, let's see, generating DVD right here. Okay, at this step it's uh, format uh, formatting, yeah, formatting the uh, rewritable. Of course, you won't see that if uh, if you don't have a rewritable. If you got a recordable, you wouldn't be seeing that. All right, now it's burning the files on the DVD. It's just finishing up. Okay, the burning is successful. And the red light is off on the DVD burner. So we're done. So we're going to go ahead and close this dialog. And then I'm going to go ahead and close DVD Styler and we'll test the DVD and see if it works. And I'm not going to save the changes. Okay. Let's pop out the DVD. And then we'll pop it back in. And we're going to see if it'll come up, if it'll play. Green light is blinking. We'll just go ahead and uh, use Windows Media Player. I'll go with Express Settings. Oh, I didn't know I had to import a library. Well, that was unexpected. It says now playing, waiting for the video. And there it is. So the DVD worked. That's the end of the video. Good luck on making yours.